Hi. What's going on today, Seth? Oh. <laughs> that seems to be the recurring theme for these now. Yeah. It's Black Friday. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. It's actually Friday, too. Yeah. We made plans to go out last night. That didn't work out. No, a little too much of the booze, you know. <laughs> I don't need to go get uh, Planet of the Apes for $10 or whatever the big hot deal is. Hi. You like Bergman? I love Bergman. Do Not you? Really. No. <laughs> I don't have a lot of uh, experience with Bergman. I tried watching The Seventh Seal once. Knocked me right out. What was your... What was the look when you were watching it? <laughs> <laughs> I love this Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie, Don, Don Juan. <laughs> oh, it's fucking nice though. Yeah. It's heavy, it's nice, it's girthy. <laughs> Ingmar. Wow, this booklet. I know, it's real nice. High quality. Cartoon Aren't these movies in color? <laughs> yeah, Fanny and Alexander. What's up guys, I'm Seth and I've got a square sweatshirt. He's really good at body horror. I'll find a criteria in the back. Just force myself to spend money. You like Elvis? No. I'm looking for Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> on it. What'd you find? Oh, one of the. Johnny Greenwood. One of the better scores, I'd say, in the last. I don't know. 10 years? 10 years. Yeah. Masterclass film, masterclass score, Phantom Thread. You guys got the new Smashing Pumpkins on? Another dilemma. Every fucking time, it's the same dilemma. All these crates, but not enough money. Yeah, I didn't know we were going to find all these great deals. $10? Are you kidding me? I'm nodding I with mean, you. the artwork's terrible, but... It's better than that cartoony kid drawn one. Do we need this on 4K? Probably no. not, but, you know, Young Tara Reed and Ultra HD. Might be worth it. Ultra um, HD double Ds? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Show the one that... Blade Runner. Emphatic yes. Haven't seen it. The Blu-ray is on sale for eight bucks, but I'd rather spend, you know, a few more and get the 4K if I'm gonna buy it. It looks really good, the movie's good. Yeah. All right, everybody, we are back from a combination of Criterion hunting and Black Friday hunting. Yeah. Did not go how I expected. No, I didn't. Um, I didn't expect to find some of the things that we found. Basically, the main objective was to go to Barnes and Noble for the Criterion sale, but the one we go to happens to be right across the street from Best Buy and Target. Mm -hmm. So we decided to deal with the crowds and s swing in there and pay it off. I think. Which I will say, I was uh, thoroughly disappointed with Target's uh, sales. Target sucked. Lack but, of. But though. Best Buy was was a win. Oh, we'll get to that. But we'll start out with the Criterions we picked up. So I'll just go first. I got a couple here. I only bought one. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect a big haul. No, not a big haul. Yeah. So this first one, actually, I've seen a few people in the comments talk about it, um, how good it is and whatnot. It's called Purple Noon. In our comments? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, a couple people. But basically, this is the French adaptation of The Talented Mr. Ripley. I haven't seen it. I haven't either. Heard it's good though, and I've heard this is good. So, Rene Clement. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it was the same guy that directed Le Samurai. Are you sure about that? 
<laughs> probably not, but it's just, it's a French guy, so <laughs> probably. But I heard it's good. Uh, of course, willing to check it out. And then the one that I went out to get, some like it hot. <laughs> some like Marilyn's tits. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. Uh, great Billy Wilder film with Tony Curtis. You know whose dad that is? Probably Jamie Lee's. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and also Jack Lemmon and then Marilyn is great. I always heard that Marilyn was like not that great of an actress. That was kind of her thing. Or maybe she was difficult to work with, but she's great in this. Uh, fantastic little comedy. We saw her grave. We did. We did. <laughs> Usually when these sales roll around, I buy like five, yeah. you know, but I couldn't do that this time. It was hard to find Just, stuff You know, we're time. at the holiday season. I'm trying to save a little bit. There's one that I wanted to pick up, though, and that is uh, Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Sex, Lies, and Terrible Packaging, <laughs> what it should be called. But I've never seen this. Heard great things about it. Um, always kind of, you know, interested me. I don't know much about it, though. What, I've said what can a, you say about it? Yeah, I mean, I've said a few times that I get an American Beauty vibe from I it, like, and it, I like that vibe. It came out. It came out ten years before American Beauty. Cool, but it's it's solid. It's yeah. good. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, I I like to grab something that I'm gonna watch right away. You know, I was limiting myself to one. I was gonna pick up like Silence of the Lambs, but I've kind of seen it 500 times. You know, I know I wouldn't watch it for a while. So mm -hmm. with this, I know I'll end up watching it probably. You know, within the next few days. So you know, had to grab it. This girl's like, wow, these guys are, are totally spooks. <laughs> Don't look at my face. Wow. What's up, baby? You want to look at our YouTube channel? Slacker Media. What's up, baby? You ever seen a Bergman film? <laughs> Do you like French New Wave cinema? <laughs> we somewhat mentioned we went to Target. The deals were non-existent, so we... There's shit. We fucked off right out of there. Fucked off right But... Out of there. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Best Buy, and surprises ensued. Jeff, you can deal with the 45-minute wait in the line, then, you know, it's... I think it was worth it. So, I don't know about many other uh, Best Buys out there, but ours has really shrunk down the size of their Blu-ray selection. I think selection. that's like uh, all over the place. Yeah, it's it's the death of the physical media and people buying Blu-rays, unfortunately. Uh, but they did have little kiosks with a bunch of different things, and uh, I don't know about you, but I picked up stuff that I would never buy otherwise. The first one I got here uh, is the remake Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I just finished up watching the original Swedish trilogy, which is pretty solid. So now, obviously, the next thing to do is to check out the Fincher one. It's great. Yeah, I've I heard... really bummed that he didn't continue on with those. Yeah, I've heard it's good. Yeah. But now they're continuing it on, continuing it on with Claire Foy instead of Rooney Mara, so it seems like it, America takes a hold of it and turns it into a mess. Oh. These next two, I don't even know what I was thinking. I don't know what you were thinking either, um, especially this one, but whatever. Well, uh, yeah. So I got Gods of Egypt on 4K. Uh, the only couple reasons I picked it up is because it probably looks really good, and it was only like $8. Hmm. Um, Surprised you didn't pick up Scorpion King 3. Well, if it was a 4K, then maybe. I don't know. It obviously looks like a CG suck fest, but... What are those, like, big snakes that he's fighting? Yeah, it's. Where? I guess it's, like, Egyptian folklore or hmm. something. I, maybe it'll be fun. I, I like a mindless action it movie. It probably won't be fun, but it's going to look good, so... Well, that's what matters. This one is... I got for the exact same reason. Valerian. I don't know. I mean... Look, I like uh, I like Luke, Luke Besson. Is that his name? Luke yeah. Besson? And I, I used to like Dane DeHaan. I've cry, kind of grown a disdain for him lately. What's he done recently? Nothing. The last thing I saw him was that shitty movie, Life After Beth with Aubrey Plaza. One of the well, worst saw, things I've seen. I saw him in A Cure for Wellness, and I was like, yeah. I've, I've had enough of this guy. I like What's-Her-Face, though. Kara, you know. De La Vine. I, eyebrows. But this is also one that looks really good, I'm sure. Maybe like a, a cool sci-fi world. But when you have Rihanna in your film, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then the last thing I got was a game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I don't know why I get these every year, because I play them pretty heavily at first, and I never finish them. I have not played a single one of those. They're fun, but they're all the same. Yeah. Um, I'll probably just give this to T instead to play, because she really likes these. Merry uh, Christmas. But for $30 for a brand new game, you couldn't... Yeah. You could say no but <laughs> but I didn't definitely had to hit up some of those uh, 4k you know sale booth things that mm -hmm. were going on kiosks kiosks um, that's what they're called <laughs> this was a good find I was I was stoked about this mm -hmm. 999 
Apollo 13. Oh, man. I should have picked that up. I have the Blu-ray, but... So do I. Phenomenal film. Um, you know, it's just classic. I think it's... I feel like this is a Tom Hanks movie that kind of is a little underappreciated. You forget about it. Yeah, it's like it's... I don't know. People don't usually talk about this one, it seems, but I absolutely love it. I think it's more like a Ron Howard film than it is a Tom Hanks film, if you know, if you know yeah. what I'm going for with that. Interesting uh, artwork there, but <laughs> phenomenal film. Nine ninety nine. I don't even care if it's much of an upgrade. We start getting into some, uh, well, actually, I'll do this one, because this is probably the highest quality, yeah, you know, yeah. from here on out. Haven't seen this movie, a little bit more than I wanted to pay. I don't think this is that great of a deal. The Blu-ray was $7.99 or whatever, but I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to pay, you know, a few more bucks and get the 4K, because I know this is going to look good. Blade Runner, oh, 2049. Man, I've heard this is great. This is, like, one of the great sequels, you know, mm -hmm. which is surprising, because a lot of times... After that amount of time, sequels don't really... I, did, I don't love the original. I think this is better. Okay, I've only seen the original one time, yeah. so... This, this was my favorite from last year, which, to be honest, is not saying too much because the last few years haven't been great. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's really good. Like, a good meditative sort right. of somewhat action, mostly thriller, yeah. uh, crime thing. I know for sure this is going to be a visual spectacle, which is why I wanted the 4K if I was going to buy it. Um, just, you know, like I said, I've seen Blade Runner one time, it's been a while, I'll probably watch that again to refresh myself, but... I'm not going to compare it to the quality of 2001, but the style, I okay. would probably compare wow. it to. It's bold. Um, yeah, like bold. I said, not the quality. You know, people love Ryan Gosling, be honest, guy's never done it for me. Can't think of one Ryan Gosling movie that I love, but maybe this will finally break the trend, and, you know, this can finally... Maybe you'll finally understand the artist he really is. Yeah, whatever, but we'll give it a watch. Ryan Gosling, Tom Hanks. You know who's better than Ryan Gosling? Well, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing with these 4K Let movies. Let me preface this. A lot of times I've noticed that, you know, certain movies that... <laughs> Would not benefit at all from 4K or getting the treatment. Step Brothers. This is one of them. Um, <laughs> Van Wilder, National Lampoons. Look, I love this movie. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. I really li I like this movie. Um, I was, always had a fun time with it. What did I tell you? It's a Cal Penn classic. Yeah, he's done um, more classics than James Stewart. Yeah, he's better. It's a Wonderful <laughs> Life with Cal Penn. That's the remake I want to see. This is like a fun, you know, one of those sex comedies. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is like you know, still in college, but he's been there for like 12 years, and he keeps like, you know, just repeating. <laughs> um, Tara Reid, you know, back back when she was... A real person. Yeah, you know, she, <laughs> I won't, I don't, I'm not going to mind seeing Tara Reid in 4K, so... I mean, action movies obviously are great for 4K, but any movie could do with like a, yeah. an upgrade as far as how crisp it looks. And here's the thing with this, I have the Blu-ray, but I bought the Blu-ray for like three bucks, so... This was like eight. Yeah. Okay, so I'm like eleven dollars deep into you know the Van Wilder. Um, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So that's okay. Um, I don't know. Uh. It'll be fun. I like it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, another like seven ninety nine purchase. I don't care what this guy or what anyone else says. <laughs> As you shouldn't. This movie's a blast. Okay. A nice throwback to the eighties. This was you know they probably should have made this thirty years ago. It would have been a little more popular, but. That is Escape Plan. Did you watch the straight-to-DVD sequel? I haven't seen Escape Plan 2 Hades yet, but <laughs> um, Stallone, Schwarzenegger finally coming together for this. I mean, that's cool in itself. It's a good time, man. I mean, I could do without 50 Cent, but, you know, it's... <laughs> and that guy. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's okay. These guys, like, go to prison. I can't even remember, but I think Stallone's job is to, like... <laughs> 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 Stallone like breaks out of prisons. That's his. I don't even remember this, but it's a good time. There's a scene at the end where uh, <laughs> you don't remember. that's it. They, they yeah. just try to break out. Okay, that's it. But there's a certain scene at the end when uh, Schwarzenegger's in a helicopter with a machine gun. It's man, it feels like you're back in the '80s. So it's a good part. Um, I enjoy this one. And finally, I too picked up a game. Love this series. Haven't played this yet. This was twenty dollars. I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's Resident Evil Seven uh, Biohazard. This is the Gold Edition. Comes with all the DLC. Um, you know, I, I've heard this was kind of change of a change of pace for the Resident Evil series, kind of going first person. So I've heard different things. Yeah, um, 
you know, I didn't know the price of this. I just saw that it was in the sale bin. I told him, I'm like, I'll take it up there. If it's any more than 20 bucks, I'm not going to buy it. But it was $19.99, so I picked it up, you know. Gives me something to play, add it to the, the game list, Resident Evil 7. What we found out, though, is you're, if you're going to buy Blu-rays, there's no point in going out that night, because you can find pretty much anything you want. Unless you really love the experience, which yeah. some people do. Some people get off on those crowds. I don't get it. I but... don't. I get off on being home yeah. in, in my movie room. Yeah, but if you're going out to get, like, you know, a Escape plan on 4K, then you could you could go to Best Buy at like 9 p.m. on Black Friday and probably still find plenty of movies. So. Oh, definitely. Yeah, but we picked up plenty. I'm very happy with what I picked up. Me too. This is like a weird Criterion slash Black Friday combination mixture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let us know down below what you guys picked up, if anything. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, good Black Friday. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>